Happy Friday to everybody. Um, yeah, just popped on some Empire side to do a little grinding, test out some more things, and make sure the server and conversions work correctly. Well, my last video covered Web3 and what goes into Web3 and what's the future in the terms of what I see anyway and how play to earn games can work. And the response I got was pretty good. I just had a lot of people ask me what Empire Side is. Um, I haven't went into it too much and the people that didn't check out the website, I guess I can elaborate for you. So Empire Side is a 2D MMORPG, um, not auto-generated, it's all handmade and customized by me and a really good friend of mine that has been working on this. He's a full stack developer and does all the blockchain backend server databases, all the good stuff that make this beauty run. And what you see me playing right now is actually our prototype. It's a, a raw canvas pretty much that we released live. Like you can log in and play right now, collect NFTs, etc. But this will not be what you play in the main game when we launch in November. This is a, a way for people to log in, test the game, for us to test the game, people to collect some NFTs that'll be useful in the main game, and for us to add new skills and test them prior to the main game launch, because we don't want to launch the main game and then add a bunch of skills and have to test it and have bugs, so we're running a prototype for about a month and a half. We're gonna add some bosses, some new monsters, skills, different, different things. Um, right now, crafting works, um, PVM works clearly, it's excellent. We've gotten that all patched up and all the colliders, everything that you would expect in the game to work, works right now. Now it's just adding the accessories such as new skills and whatnot. So um, anybody that's playing right now will get to see firsthand what's coming for the main game, which is super exciting for a lot of people that are involved and it gives us a time to meet the community. All right, I'm pressing three, but I guess I'm on cooldown. All right, yeah, so pretty much we started building Empire of Sight back in December of last year, which is 2021, and it started just a raw concept with me getting art made for the website, basic stuff, just concept design, and we wanted to make something that isn't there wasn't at the time everything that was out was just meant meant to earn meant to earn play to earn and we wanted to take the time to introduce an actual video game and you know it is 2d and it's kind of old school but it's definitely a fun game to play in terms of content wise and what actual usability is there so that that's the good thing and the graphics aren't too bad i mean it is top down 2d but I know a lot of people that still play old school Zelda and Pokemon just because of the nostalgia. So we decided to run with 2D, which looking back now might not have been the best idea because 2D was a lot harder to work with than the 3D that we're actually working on right now for our other game. And yeah, so it's a 2D MMORPG. Um, we run on currently Ethereum, um, Binance, AVAX, and Polygon. Hold on. Yeah, so yeah, um, we offer free minting of NFTs. If you get one, if you want to convert it to an NFT or you want to keep it a virtual item um, for free on Polygon and AVAX. So that's completely um, gas free play for you guys and seamless play. Like, you don't have to even convert it to an NFT if you don't want to. You can keep it as a virtual item, but we do offer the function to turn it to that, which I think should be what all games do. Since a lot of people want to play games, oh my. That guy get, hits a little too hard for me, actually. Um, since a lot of people will play a game and they don't really care about the blockchain side, so we wanted to make a Web 2, Web 3 hybrid s system that allows people to play for fun or play for the NFT blockchain experience, which um, seems to be working well so far. We have about 500 players as of recording this today. Not very many people on right now, it's getting kind of late. Um, and a lot of people are already leveled up, they're in different areas of the map. I'm kind of, I'm not at the starter starter region, but pretty damn close to the starter region. And um, so the cool things about Empire of Sight, you'll notice is that it's an actual video game. Um, there's quest lines, tons and tons of quests, hundreds of quests. Um, there's kill quests like you would expect to find in any MMORPG that says kill 10, kill 20, you know. Um, and there's also more complex quests like you could, the Blades of Azeroth quest where you need a key to enter a dungeon to go get a blade to turn it into 
that or the Molten Core quest line in World of Warcraft. So if anybody's played those, you'll understand. Or if you've played RuneScape, the quest lines on there, it's they're extremely similar. And um, yeah, in the game itself, it was designed mostly for fun. You know, like we're we're not asking people to min a hero to play. We're not asking people to um, buy tokens. Nothing like that. You know, like it's it's completely almost 100% decentralized in terms of like. A membership allows you to play as much as you want. You know, if you log in and want to play 20 hours a day, you can play 20 hours a day. You don't have to worry about energy. You don't have to worry about um, having a new NFT every week. Like, you don't have to worry about it. You can just hop on, play the game, and enjoy yourself. You know, and that's what gaming is about. So um, we're kind of aiming for that. And the main game, every region, there's eight regions so far. And if you check the Medium article, I'll link in the description. Um, there's eight regions all the way from uh, Sunwood, which is the starting region, all the way up to the Never, Never, Neverland, I keep talking about Pirate Boys, uh, Neverland, which is like the final raid area, which has tons of dungeons, extremely cool stuff, um, bosses, just like all sorts of interesting things, which is like level uh, 77 through 85 zone, with the bosses being level 90. So, unlimited amounts of content. Like, I don't see anybody beating the game. Like, beating the last bosses for as long as I could see and collecting all the NFTs I don't see anybody collecting every NFT within the first year like manually collecting them anyway um, yeah and each region comes with an Easter egg so you see this plant right here in the main game this plant may have a collider too but some plants won't have a collider you can walk through them and it'll teleport you to somewhere new or maybe you go to walk against this river this collider but you're able to walk through this and it'll teleport you to somewhere new so we kind of added a lot of hidden stuff that we're not really um, giving out directions to. You know, there'll be little hints where you talk to an NPC and NPC will be like, oh, um, there's a spiky bush to the north and for some reason it vibrates magically. Just basic stuff like that and it's a whole new region, whole new area tied to the storyline um, within the area. Like Easter eggs, you know, like and people that find those are going to have access, early access anyway, because it'll get leaked eventually to special NFTs that are only dropped in those areas, which is really interesting because it adds a whole new concept, whole new level up, and it'll kind of let people feel like they discovered something new for the first time, even as the game grows. Like, chances are the Easter egg regions, people won't find them right away. You know, like, I, I, I've hid them pretty damn well. And um, yeah, it's, it's a massive game. Uh, sorry guys, I'm kind of into this right now. I haven't played today. I wanted to hop in and level up the character. Yeah, I, I, I could have boosted my character, but I felt like the best way to get the feel for the game is to run through and kill, check drop rates, make sure everything is the way it should be, and kind of get a idea of how to improve it. So yeah, I'm running around the forest right now, just killing monsters, and this area is not where I want to be. So we're going to go a little bit north. Um, the main game is going to have mining, um, crafting, smithing, crafting, same concept, cooking, alchemy, all, all sorts of skills you'll be able to level up. And as you can see here, there's actual skills list. We only have two for each character right now because um, we haven't had time to integrate the new ones, but they'll be coming. You'll be able to level up your skills. Damn it. They're freaking f oh, I'm back in the maze. Okay, well, I'm back in the maze, you guys. Um, starter zone right here for anybody who's interested and I think I have it memorized um yeah so you'll be able to play with your friends join a clan guild whatever you want and actually have that listed in the game um you'll be able to enter houses go to shopkeepers um farm items pretty much anything you can think of in a real web 2 game is there and, um the idea of this was to create something that was playable and enjoyable by anybody you know it didn't matter if you were new to web 3 or you've never heard of web 3 like we wanted to make it in a way that people could play with their friends and you could bring your friends from web 2 to play with you and they wouldn't be like oh you want me to spend 200 dollars to play a game like we don't want that you know like we're offering the first real nearly free to play game that's ever been released on web 3 that isn't just bullshit oh okay see this this is why you play the game I got a bug right now. This doesn't happen to everybody, but since I'm on a VPN, it tends to happen to me a little bit. Okay, there we go. But yeah, that's why you play your own game, is to make sure that you are not running with a ton of bugs. And honestly, that doesn't happen to everybody. It's just my 
my VPN um, sometimes causes delay in the server, but that's good to check and maybe we can space that out a little bit. And I move that over. I should have been moving that over Move that back here. All right, yeah. So just like any real game, you can play with your friends. You can bring your friends from Web2 over. Um, it's super cheap. The main game is only gonna be $9.99 a month. You know, like we're not releasing tokens at the start. Like we may not even ever release tokens. Just depends on how the game goes and if we have an actual use case for tokens, we'll release them. And it's kind of just comes from passion. Like we really wanted to create a game that people could play and enjoy with their friends. And hopefully that's hopefully that's what we got here. And hopefully we can get a handful of people on to enjoy it. I, I personally um, can't wait to see people play with what we've created. You know, like that's kind of what I enjoy about it is like getting to see people enjoy like what I enjoyed making and what my friend Levi enjoyed making. So that's where we're at. Um, in terms of um, Web3 utility, we're going to be releasing a Web3 uh, version of a MMORPG slash survival game here shortly after this goes live in November. We'll probably drop the 3D model, which will be a completely different game. It won't be called EOS. Maybe we'll call it Empire or something else, but it'll be 3 It'll be 3D and NFTs in this game will be able to convert over to there. Specific ones will anyway. So like if you have a cool pet in this game, like let's say you got a legendary pet drop or you even have like a, a basic pet drop and you see a beautiful little pet that you just can't live without. Um, whenever the 3D model goes live, if you have that uh, NFT in your wallet, you'll automatically have that pet in the 3D version. So that's what we're kind of aiming for here is to make it so like what you have in this game, you'll have in another game, you know, not every item of course, but um, that's kind of what we're aiming for is to use um, the blockchain in the way it's meant to be used. And a lot of people say you don't have to do that, but it makes it much easier when you can just pull straight from a wallet and you can pick and choose based off that automatically. So yeah, that's, that's what's coming in the near future. And I'll give a better description. I mean, I guess that's the best description there is. It's a it's a goddamn game. It's a game you can play. It's built with Web3 utility and uh, the future of what we're developing is gonna continue. We'll end up doing a first person shooter, a survival game in 3D, an MMORPG in 3D, a racing game, you know, tons of different things. And we don't ever plan to make it mid turn. You know, like we wanna avoid that as much as possible. And last year we could have made mid turn games in 2021. And, um, probably made a goddamn killing, but we wanted to avoid it as much as possible and just focus on how to live in the future of Web3, which won't be mid-term, you know, it won't be the way it is. So we're going to keep making games and increasing um, what's there for users and players. And hopefully we can see you guys online and I'll probably be making videos quite often. Hopefully the next one I make, I won't be so tired or this late at night, but I felt like saying what's up and posting the video. So I hope you guys can take the time to drop in a Discord or Twitter or wherever your home base is at, or you can even shoot me a direct DM here on YouTube and I, I'd love to chat you, comments, anything. And I'm sure Levi would too, and the rest of the community. So I'll chat you guys later. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up level 30 here. And maybe I can craft something. I don't have enough gold to craft. Uh, I don't think I have enough gold to craft anything. Um, I might have enough to craft something. I'll save that for the fuck. I'm back in the goddamn maze. All right. Um, I said I was going to get level 30 on this video, but I think I'm going to just log the video off and walk back because I, uh, I ran this video to 14 minutes and I feel like I went in circles, but yeah, that's about as good as it's going to get to that, guys. I'll catch you later and I hope to chat you soon. Peace. And that was a one finger piece. That's how tired I am. I didn't have the power to put up the second one. <sighs> Ridiculous. I'll chat you boys later. Peace. EOS out.